Seems right I've been doing. So what are you doing here? Well, right now what we're going to do is we're going to try to make this upper flipper work with this lower flipper just temporarily to kind of make it a little bit different as far as doing some live streaming. So when you hit the right flipper, instead of just the right flipper activating, it's going to activate the right flipper and the upper flipper. Mm -hmm. Now we can see how these are wired. Basically, there's two sets of switches here. And when you energize your lower right flipper, the switch is open and it's closing this set of points right here, which in turn sends power to this black and uh, white wire over to this flipper coil here. So what we're going to do is just take, a, take this black and white wire off of here and I'm going to send it over this orange wire here. So instead of uh, the upper right or upper left flipper energizing when you hit the left flipper button, it's going to energize when you hit this right flipper here. So if I really wanted to get technical and want, if we were going to do this long term, I would have a second set of contacts here so we wouldn't put a lot of stress on these switches. But eventually I'm going to put new understroke switches on here anyways because this will probably, they'll have double the current going through those switches just for the time that we're doing the live stream. So they might arc a little bit more. But in the future, if I want to do it permanently or for long term, I would put uh, another set of normally uh, open contacts there that would actually close and send power to that other flipper. You know, that's why they have a double stack there so it does not uh, burn out your uh, contact series. But I'm just doing this temporarily. We're just going to try it and see how it works and and hopefully it'll be okay. I'm just making it so it's kind of temporary and it should be good here. I should have wired strippers but this is a little good, good enough for now. <laughs> 